Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to break down the trailer for season two of them called Them the Scare. So uh, let's talk about it. So Them is back and I couldn't be happier. The The first season was freaking amazing. Little Marvin did so he he's, does such a good job of telling a horror story. If you haven't seen the original season, it, it came out. Um, well, before COVID, I'm pretty sure. And on Amazon uh, Prime Video, it's amazing. This the new season. I've been I've been waiting for it for a long time. Uh, I, I watched the original when it first came out, and then I kind of forgot about it. And I even started to review the first episode here on the channel like two weeks ago, and I realized that I had that I had already watched the series. So I'm super excited for this one. Uh, it has the some of the same cast, but a completely different. Um, story so yeah let's let's talk about it let's watch let's break the trailer down i should say not watch the trailer we're gonna break the trailer down the description for the show says in 1991 lapd homicide detective don reeve is assigned to a new case the gruesome murder of a foster home mother has left even the most hardened detective shaken navigating a tumultuous time in los angeles with the city on razor's edge of chaos Dawn is determined to stop the killer but as she draws closer to the truth something ominous and malevolent grips her and her family Okay, so the trailer opens up, and we have this character. I don't know his name. The only character I know is the detective, Dawn Reeve, played by Deborah. I'm not saying how you say her last name, so I'm not even going to butcher it. But um, she was in season one. I don't think this character, this person, this actor, was in season one. I don't remember him. Uh, at first, I thought he was the tap dancing man, but I'm pretty sure I was wrong about that. That, that character is terrifying in season one. But anyway, we open with this character, and... The way the trailer goes, I think he could be the serial killer that they're looking for. But anyway, he's sitting in a locker room. He's listening to music, and he looks like he's... He, to me, he looks troubled. And then we, we go on to the next image. We see that he's sitting in some type of a locker room. Maybe he's at a gym. Maybe he's at a school. I'm not sure. And he is putting on some type of a oversized costume head. It kind, To me, it kind of looks like maybe, maybe like a school mascot. Maybe... Maybe he's not the killer. Maybe he's one of the characters. I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But he's definitely he's put on this this giant costume, and we see him later in the trailer. So next we see Detective Reeve uh, waking up. We we get the the date. The setting is 1991, and uh, she appears to be you know getting up and get ready for work because we see her getting her gun and her badge, and then going into her her kitchen and, and seeing her family. We see this other woman in the background. I'm going to assume that this is her mother. You know, I don't know for sure, but I was super excited to see that she's being played by whoever this is being played by the legendary Pam Greer. And she can, she's going to bring so much to this, so much to this show. Um, I look forward to, to seeing these exchanges, these, you know, the conversations between Deborah, who I'm not going to say her last name because I'll butcher it. And Pam Greer, that, that, that is going to be some, just some epic scenes, I think. Pam Greer's character tells uh, Dawn to to be careful, and then we see her uh, at a crime scene. And I, I don't know about the 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 color of the sky here. That that's kind of interesting to me. I, you know, I've never been to Los Angeles, so I don't know if that's what the morning looks like there or not. But uh, I, I I don't know. I would think not, but maybe it's just a filter to to add um, suspense. But anyway, she she walks up to another officer and. He tells her she needs to see this, and then we go into this building where, you know, something's happened, this house. So Detective Reeves, she, you know, she goes to the house. She's starting her investigation. We see, like, this mass of cables on the ground, and uh, it's, to me, it already has, like, a super creepy vibe to it. You know, it's dark. She sees it, all these TVs for some reason, and she's just checking out this um, this crime scene, and I, I, I do, yeah, I, I really think that right now, I mean, I was starting to feel a super creeped out vibe. It kind of gives me a um, seven vibe right now. Uh, I think, you know, we're obviously going to be dealing with some type of a deranged serial killer, but I think there's probably going to be more, and we'll get on that when we get further into this trailer. And, you know, like in, in season one, you know, there was multiple fronts of, of to deal with when it comes to the horror so I'm not sure where we're looking right here, but it looks like a body has been stuffed into like a closet or behind a wall. And our detective is is looking at this and the body's in pretty banged up, broken state. <clears throat> so yeah, so she's going to find the body and 
then we get her to the morgue and they're, they're talking about the state of the body. So the coroner tells the detective that he's never seen a body this broken up. It's like 25 fractures. He said the only time he's seen anything like this is when a body's been run over by a train. So then they're, you know, the detectives are back in their office and the, the main, you know, the main character, Dawn, is talking with her partner. I guess this is her partner. And she's talking about how this is not their first killing, that this, you know, this person's done this before. And they're, they realize that you're dealing with a serial killer. Then we get another shot of this guy from the opening and it's like switching between night and day, making it look like he's watching somebody for a while. And we hear the detective in a voiceover saying that the person that's doing these killings is leaving no witnesses or no one's noticing him. And she says, how can someone go unnoticed? This woman looks to be being questioned by the detective about something, or maybe she was a witness or, or something, but she's crying and she says, do you not realize what's going on here or something like that? Then we get these shots of this young man uh, in his living room. I think this is the detective's family. He's messing with his TV, trying to get it to work. And he sees someone in the, behind him in the reflection on the TV while there's a voiceover of the same woman talking and she says no human is capable of this evil. So then we get a male voiceover saying do you ever feel like you can't breathe? Do you ever feel like your heart's going to stop? That you want to yell but no one will hear you. And I wonder if this voiceover is someone that's related to the detective or if this is the person that I, I that they show us at first that I think might be the serial killer. At least that's the way the trailer wants us to, to take it. Then we get a shot of Pam Greer's character. And I believe this is the detective's mother. And she looks like she's in church. She's dressed really nice. And again, I'm so excited that Pam Greer's in this, in this series, in this season. And she says, it's a little too late. It's coming. Now, she could be at a funeral or it could be just like a regular church service. Then we get a very scared Detective Reeve hiding under like, it looks like a sink. And then some unseen entity grabs her and pulls her out of the cabinet and drags her across the floor. Then we get these images shown really fast. And we have a young man with a gun in his, in his pants. We have police barging in on someone. Uh, we have Pam Greer's character again looking scared, maybe in like a closet with these red lights. And then we have this young woman. I wonder if this is the same this girl. I wonder if she's the same girl that played Ruby Sue in the first season. Then we have this man who is, I think he's pro probably pretty terrified. And then we have this wall of TVs like we saw in the house. And while all this is going on, we keep hearing over and over and over, fear is not an option. Fear is not an option. And that was one of the things that at the very first scene where we see the man in the locker room, he's listening to something that says, what would you be able to do if fear wasn't an option? Then we get Detective Reeve once again. I believe this is her partner she's talking to, and she asks if he believes in God. He says yes, and she says, even with everything we see. Then we get a shot of this guy. I, I believe he's the man, the young boy or the teenage boy that was trying to mess with the television and saw something behind him. He looks terrified. He's in the red light again, and I think he's someone related to Detective Reeve. Then we get this this entity tormenting the 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 boy that we just saw. It's, it looks to be whispering something in his ear. And I think it's really just, you know, in the, in the first season, we saw the father was tormented by something, something supernatural, an entity. And I think that's what we're seeing here. And uh, I, it's, I think it's going to be great because it has the serial killer and it has the supernatural aspect. And then we get to release date. Uh, and I can't wait for this. This, this show is going to be amazing. The, the first season was so good. Um, little Marvin, I, I think he can tell a, a crazy good horror story. And I can't wait for this. I'm, I'm going to cover this on the channel. I don't know how it's going to be released. I don't know if all the episodes are going to be released at once. I don't, don't know how many episodes. I would imagine 8 to 10. I believe that's how much the, the first season was. And the original season was released an episode. I think maybe the two episodes the first week and then a week, one episode a week after that. I hope that's the way they do it. Uh, for me, that's the best way to cover, cover shows. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for this one. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you're going to watch. Uh, if you love horror, you you can't do better than this, guys. Especially this time of the year. I mean, this is like this is like getting Halloween early. But yeah, I, I can't wait for this. And uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this breakdown, and I will see you in the next video. If you don't want to miss my coverage of the show, them the scare, make sure you sub to the channel, and uh, you can catch some more of my great content either by clicking the video on the left or the right. And I'll see you next time.